Young people are coming up to me often and ask me if they're going to have a viable career in the oil and gas industry. And my answer is a resounding yes. Modern life is really impossible without the oil and gas industry. There are great opportunities right now for mechanical engineers, civil engineers, aerospace engineers to come into drilling. Drilling really needs to broaden beyond just petroleum engineering. Basically everything in engineering and technology you can imagine needs to be applied in drilling engineering. Literally billions of barrels are locked away in shale and are being unlocked right now through the technologies of horizontal drilling. We're going into deeper and deeper water drilling wells to 30,000, 35,000, maybe even 40,000 feet. At that depth, you have to make sure that you're doing it safely without affecting the environment and in an economically realistic manner. It is a tough engineering problem. UTPGE deservedly has a, a reputation as one of the leading petroleum engineering schools in the world. Right now we are launching three state-of-the-art new labs dedicated to drilling engineering which have been established with the generous donations by Baker Hughes and NOV. The Zonal Isolation Lab is trying to solve the problems associated with cementing and achieving zonal isolation in unconventional shale wells and in deep water wells. Conventional cementing techniques have some real drawbacks. It's very difficult to get cement in place or it may not achieve a lasting bond. And these problems find their origin in zonal isolation or lack thereof. It is a very challenging problem. You've got to be sure that once you pump cement in, it doesn't set before it reaches the destination. And once it reaches the destination, you need to be sure that it sets. Cementing is a very important job. By advancing the research on that topic, we are able to actually ensure that we are environmentally friendly. I say it often to my students, I say the future of drilling is going to be data. When one has access to real-time data, possibilities are endless. We can extract information from the data and extract knowledge from the data. The data that will be streamed into this real-time operational center is data that's live from a well that's actually currently being drilled at that particular point in time. It's the only place where you can actually stream real-time data from ongoing drilling operations. Undergraduate students will in fact be looking at data and analyzing data and finding meaningful patterns. Basically the students act as a second pair of eyes. It enables us to educate the students on what to watch for when somebody's drilling so that when they go back into industry they can be safe drillers. So the students are benefiting and the industry is benefiting. We have essentially a virtual drilling rig at our fingertips. It enables them to actually get a feel for how a rig operates. This is the one university that actually has a real-time operational center, a drilling simulator, all associated with a drilling automation program. Our goal is to build automated drilling rigs in the future. You have very sophisticated autopilot systems. The Mars rover autonomously needed to land itself on the surface of Mars. If we have machines that can help humans where we are not perfect, then we can actually increase the overall safety. We need to do better in taking people out of harm's way, in making the industry safer, in making the industry more efficient at the same time. It's a big opportunity right now for young people to join the oil and gas industry and really take it up to a new level. They are not joining your grandfather's oil and gas industry, but really a state-of-the-art industry. By working in these labs, the students get trained on what's actually happening in the industry right now. Every day I can think of new methodologies and interdisciplinary things to, to use in drilling to make the processes more efficient. You can be an environmentalist and join the oil and gas industry and working from within companies make them better. We have the resources in terms of the staff and the infrastructure to make a global impact on the energy demands of the future. So if you want to be involved with the industry, if you really want to learn something, if you want to have those rigs drilling next door to you, Texas is the place to be, right? What starts here at UTPGE changes the world. <laughs>